Hello and welcome to Pungara Ring for the fourth round of the 2018 Euro Formula Open. Felipe Drugovic is our runaway championship leader and has not been beaten since the first weekend of the year in Estoril. Last time out at spa Francorchamps, he was dominant and therefore comes into the weekend with a commanding championship lead. But this Hungarian circuit often has a sting in the tail, so let's see if anybody can take the fight to the Brazilian as we head to the halfway point of the season. position it was Felipe Drugovic who led away as the pack accelerated towards first corner. Brazilian moving across preemptively just to make sure that Ben Fiscal and Marcus Siebert couldn't leap past him as they headed towards turn one. Fiscal challenged the outside briefly got his nose in front but Drugovic had the racing line as they swept down towards turn two. Behind they were all cleanly through but then the way through the first lap the tank between them Hogan Boom and Guilherme Samaya came to a head a few moments later. Samaya launched over the sausage curve. Samaya out of the race and Hoka Boom eventually. Meanwhile, Alex Karl Kozik dropped wheel over the AstroTurf, slid off on the grass and into the tyre wall. That brought out the safety car, which the opposed driver uninjured. And they did get going again. Yorio and Das able to make a move on Eve Valtas to try and challenge for third. It's Hogan Boom with no rear downforce spinning away his chances. There was a second safety car late on after Lucas Dunner and Christian Hahn came together and Hahn out of the race. On the restart, Drugovic pulled clear once more en route to a sixth victory of the season with Marcus Siebert finishing in third and Ben Fiscal runner-up once more to the dominant Brazilian who's further extended his lead at the head of the championship as we approach the halfway point of the season. Couldn't do, couldn't be more thankful for the team. The team did an amazing job in the rain. The, now also in the dry, the setup was perfect. Good push uh, all the way in. Yeah, I'm really happy. Can't say much now. Uh, yeah, the, the pace was there. Uh, the car was there for me. Uh, I, I could do whatever I want with the with the car. So yeah, really happy. Now let's see in race two tomorrow. It starts looking really good for the championship. Yeah, of course. It's uh, it's looking really good. Like I told you the last time, so I had to keep my, tail, my head down and uh, just concentrate on the, on the championship now, I've been getting points as much as I can and not making stupid things, and that's it. So as lights went out, Ben Skull was beaten away from pole by Felipe Drugovic as the field charged towards the first corner. Championship leader was able to get himself fully in front of Viscal, then fanned out for the first turn. Viscal again trying to swoop around the outside. He ran out of road, slithered out wide, and that was enough to give Drugovic what turned out to be a decisive advantage. Meanwhile, there was some great scrapping further down the order as Christian Hahn squeezed out Lucas Dunner and saw Dunner come under a lot of pressure from those behind him. That it wheel to wheel does in early stages eventually settled down. Although Callum Williams and Eve Baltas enjoy the good scrap as they both try to overhaul Guilherme Samaya. Eventually, though, it was going to be Williams who would get the better of Baltas. Squeezing out the American as they race down through turn three. Williams then turned his attentions to Guilherme Samaya after running alongside the Brazilian for a couple of turns, he wasn't quite able to make the move stick, allowing Smart to continue to finish in 10th. This was the only contact of the race. Front wing end plate disappearing for Lance Hogan Boom's car as he tagged Christian Hahn. For Felipe Drugovic, it was a lights to flag win, his seventh victory of the season, and giving him a commanding championship lead at the halfway point of the season. A delight for the RP Motorsports squad. Had a quite good qualifying. Uh, didn't really put together all sectors. Uh, it happened sometimes. We didn't hit the pick of the tire. But then after that, uh, I was really concentrated to get a really good start, to get uh, it, to really nail it, and I, and I could do it. So I was really happy after turn one. Of course, I still have the, the whole race left. But uh, here's really difficult to, to overtake. I was really uh, keeping the tires to the end and. Uh, 
and the tires just last like uh, like I wanted. Uh, could pull a good gap to, to the second position. So yeah, really happy. Big thanks to the team. Once again, the car was really good. It really got decided at, at the start. How you prepared that? Yeah, uh, of course there is pressure to to get that start. Uh, but I was really concentrated. I knew how to how to do it uh, when it really matters. So yeah, and luckily I could do it like uh, like I wanted. So. Yeah, really happy.